Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an historic beginning to the village of Beedham. As I look around this room where once stood before me publicans, postmasters, millers and uh, the rest of you, I now look around and see before me artists, craftsmen and women, actors and actresses, lighting masters and lighting... Uh, Rick's been turned up with kind of big boxes of his research and things, so it's kind of local history and <coughs> things, which is, is really good. And we'll be talking about tramping and we'll be talking about... Uh, well, mines. And I've been interested in wasps, because you sent me the stuff about yeah. wasps. Wasps yeah. make nests out of paper. Hello, I'm Jane Ross. My name's Jordan, and I am Tom in the play. <laughs> My name's Rebecca, and I'm Belinda Red. And I'm Jeff, and I'm so boring. <laughs> he is an army, he says... I travel in Hong Kong, man. No, it's beyond the scene. No, it's beyond the scene. No, it's beyond the scene. Now listen, Peter. I am not a nice man. But you are a lady, soft and fair. I know it's brave, sir. I've got these bad and bad men coming through. Just check the poor poverty. I do bad for the sheriff. I'm not a very fair young lady. Well done. Just going to get through it. And it's not. Looking all that terrible. If um, if it does stop, even if it's not your line, if you know what should be going on, just help out. It's ready! Hooray! And now there with Scarlet, the news of King John. It's you know, and you're kind of chucking some of it away, some of it's kind of going. I just, I'm, I'm. Saying the lines in my head and getting round that first and then knowing what to say. My friends, join me on a journey into the unknown, into art, into that most noble of professions, theatre. And when are we likely to see a performance? I think it's the 1st or the 2nd of June, I think, uh, if Phil can come yep. film that. I think that's what yeah, it is. Yep, at the Heron Court, at the Heron Theatre. La la la! They've done wonders with the kids, and they've done wonders around the village, and it's nice to see this community spirit with everyone here. What do you think it is about community theatre that, that actually pulls people together? I mean, obviously, you, you're having to drag people from the local community to take part in this, and maybe sometimes people who wouldn't want to act or, or take part in a play. I think what's interesting about community theatre is it's kind of about how much you want to contribute yourself. If you want to turn up and do a kind of quite small part, um, We've had some people who want to come in and they just want to do silent roles, uh, which is something that we can kind of run with. You know, it's a brief that you can think, right, I need three or four pages in the script where these people can be used. Um, I think we've also had um, instances of people who aren't necessarily interested in performing, but uh, are very keen to work on um, things backstage um, and are, are wanting to take part in a more kind of production type role and probably learn something practical from it as well. This is actually going back to the days as well though, when villages used to actually get together and do things off their own bat, isn't it? I mean, you're coming in from the outside obviously to help them uh, and, and get back to that situation. Absolutely, I mean, it's, uh, I think, what th there's a kind of ownership as well about it that, you know, if they're just producing something that's an existing script that we're turning up with, they don't feel like they've had any input with that, but as Audrey pointed out, it was actually Alison from the post office who kind of came up with the idea that we should probably go back and look at Robin Hood as an idea to kind of base the play around. <laughs> 